Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tenere Distic Human, and welcome back to our Slavic campaign. You join me on the bridge over here, over the Danube, where the Vandals are taking us on. Now, we certainly have the advantage here. It's not a particularly great force. Obviously, it's one of their mainly horde unit forces, and only one of them has turned up. The rest are still hanging around a Quinkum. I think today might be the day that we actually deal with this menace. So starting with this chap over here, Furtis, who isn't particularly interesting or useful, we will uh, start by taking him out. Let's go. They are very slowly bringing themselves towards the bridge here, which gives our archers tons of time to get a load of shots in. Better even, they are standing in a big pile. So whilst they'll get some shots onto us, I think we'll be okay doing some damage to them. Yeah, unfortunately they do have a lot more of this uh, missile cap than I realised, actually. Um, but oh well, it's fine. Uh, we'll just have to hold best we can. Infantry is going to get into position in good time. My cav is obviously helping with the range as well. Yeah, we've done quite a lot of damage. I think though, Arch, it's probably a good idea for you to aim over into there. Actually, Warlord's coming in at the front here. Ooh, okay. Let's just get some... Actually, no, I'm not worried about the fire. We won't even worry about fire shots today. We'll just let him run into the Shiltrum. We have our spearmen over here to hold as well. And we'll just kind of let them crunch a little bit. Javin's going to come in from these chaps. And you guys start to charge in once you have the opportunity. You can swing in as well, lads. That would be perfect. And in general, we'll just watch these guys get chopped down. You guys can actually start thinking about a bit of fire, please, into those lads there. We have actually lost most of this unit to arrows, which is a bit unfortunate. A bit of fire might just trigger them at the very least. General, if you start swinging into him as well, that will be lovely. We will hopefully just trigger the riots. The riots, the route, pretty instantly. Yeah, he's gone. He's going to be chopped. Come on. rather than run. Apparently, he's going to run through us all, which is just brilliant. You, sir, if you'd like to go and take him out, that'd be ideal. And I think in general... No, 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 no. No, General. A little bit over-eager there. They're not all routing just yet. We'll miss our units, though. If you can all just shoot into that pile, that'd be funny. Uh, but you do need to actually go and chase this guy down, please. So please go and do that. Um, and otherwise, we're just taking a lot of damage here. This has done a lot more to us than I thought it would, actually. I probably stood us all too close. Could have done this with a bit of a wider scope. I didn't quite realise how many... Oh, there we go. Didn't quite realise how many archer cav they had. I think I slightly underestimated that. Pull back then, sirs. Pull back. The infantry are coming for another go. All missiles. Just stop what you're doing. Do your own thing, please. And... I don't think they're all that happy, actually. I'm just going to start getting my cavalry to swing across. Let's go do that. Swing across, lads. Yeah, we'll just swing them all across the bridge. We'll mop up these cavalry without too many problems, I think. So we'll just swing everyone straight into battle. I don't think they'll be able to last very long under these circumstances. No, indeed they won't. The general's gone. That's the main thing. Um... We need just to keep on charging them down because these horse archers are just going to continuously get away from these battles, aren't they? So they're definitely completely free. Now the infantry will go down, but um, any of these cav that I can shoot down will work for me. So I just need to continue chasing and see how much damage I can do. 74% to 47%. Not brilliant, but we'll have to take it. Um, we've got plenty of armies nowadays, so... It's not the end of the world if we leave a unit or two behind. But um, mostly gone, and we have killed the general. That is the most important thing. Just killing their founding members is really what we want to do. Oh, I love that weird glitch through the wheat fields. And I've hit the red line of death. The enemy flee from the field like frightened goats. Hunt them down and slay them all. Yep. Last for you then, just to be mopped up. And I'm pretty certain at this point. We've um, taken out, yeah, nearly 80%. So all the infantry will be gone. This is a Clear victory. Not as clean as it could have been, but there's just so many archers. There's always going to be plenty of collateral when it's collateral damage as if they were civilians. Ah, yeah, that's the issue though, isn't it? Next force coming straight in. They have some proper chosen horde spearmen. So how many of these cavs do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
They're not that bad either. Eight on the missile from eight. Okay. Well, I'm a bit damaged. Um, really very damaged. My arch has been completely shredded, but we can see what we'll do. We'll see what we do. And if we just get the two generals away, that's what we shall indeed do. Straight into the second battle. Let's go. This time I will not send my infantry straight to the front, apart from a little bit of arrow fodder right at the front there. Um, otherwise, yeah, we'll just kind of get our archers forward and get some early shots in. We do have good range on these lads, so that is one thing we do have these cav, although we'll just have to wait until they are in our range. Now, yeah, we can hopefully get some good shots in nice and early on these chappies. Uh, they can shoot them, so they might as well go and do it. We'll just wait in terms of running these chaps forward. Yeah, see, we're losing quite a lot. Even with the shields, we can't seem to do very much about blocking them off. I think we're just going to have to run you forward at this point, sir. Yep, you lads start to get in there. Okay, so we're just going to get our yeah, legionaries over on the left side there. They can throw their javelins in, which is always handy. We can try and hold the position there. We've got our extra step swordsman behind. We've got our strongest units right at the front here. All infantry go on to guard mode. All missile units go off skirmish mode. And honestly, we're just going to have to see what we can do. Hopefully, these lads are going to take a few arrow shots while our archers do their work. We seem like we're doing it over here. And then our infantry's just got to try and hold in the centre when it comes to it. So ideally, can we get the horse archer to shoot on those lads? You just shoot those horses and you just to shoot those and finish them off. From this side, yeah, a, bit, a few more of them is a bit of an issue here. We are, It's going to be pretty tight in, in terms of holding on in this battle. We've got two, two experienced generals here who hopefully will make the difference. I'm not going to try and get cavalry in behind. Um, not at the moment anyway, they still have a bit too much of an advantage in that sense, so I'm just going to have to hold position now. Javelins are going to come into this first section of the Hordesmen, and let's just try and get some fire into them. I think that'll be the best plan, to so start using fire on the centre, please. And we'll just see if we can hold the Shiltrum. Unfortunately, this time we're going to hit the Chosen Warriors, which isn't as ideal as it was before. You get over this side, please. You go and cover that position. General, you start charging him. And, yeah, just start charging. Get in there. Blow the Horn of Destiny. Everyone else will pile in before the general. And we'll just send them into a huge, big melee mass. That'd be ideal for us. Now, 35 of them there. I'm going to ask you to stop fire arrows and just keep them busy. Is that the general? There is their warlord. Brave warriors. Oh, yes. Right, two generals. Just charge across and start causing absolute mayhem. All the archers over here just shoot into those ones. 34 of them. That is ideal for you. In fact, Cav, all of you just swing across. I'd really like my general just to start chopping these down and let's try and catch whoever we can. We've got another victory here by the looks of it. Um, another third of our army down. Um, in fact, it was half last time, so it's a bit, a bit better. But, yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to catch all of them. Um, yeah, we're not going to catch any of these horses, are we? Doesn't look like it. So, if the general just swing back, we can take care of these guys over here. But um, on the whole, pretty good. We killed the general. A few more of them down, and that's actually two of their stat. Well, this is a, it wasn't quite a full stack, this one. But still a significant army for us to be taking on. The enemy that is the end of the battle. The gods. Hunt them down and slay, them all. slay them all indeed. And just a couple of them left wandering around. We have got it up to... Can't see today. 86%. So pretty much the same as last time. Not entirely destroyed, but nearly... These guys can't hold the bridge another time, though. We've lost all of our infantry here. But they've done what they needed to, which is pulling a couple armies, do some brutal damage, and um, just make sure the city's a bit easier to defend, because with four armies, we uh, really would have had problems. But with uh, two or three, I think we're in a good place now. Much, much better. That is um, that's good news for us. 
big losses on the bridge. They've actually abandoned the Siege of Aquincum there, and uh, sadly our boat didn't get back to shore. We can probably get up to north though. Uh, the Western Empire have spotted all of our spies at once, it seems. They are sending a few ships around. I don't think there's anything on them though. Good looking pagan, conflict commander 16. Fair enough, we'll have you. You're not too shabby, are you? No units on here. As long as there's no units, I'm not particularly bothered. So, marriage celebrations. Uh, Azkirik and Lestal. No idea, but uh, whatever. That's fine by me. Uh, Campus Barbaricum has itself not great. We don't have any money to spend on that, I'm afraid. But um, it's nice that you've got a new town being built anyway. Uh, the Huns are somewhere. It's just a few family members, isn't it? There's probably still that 90-year-old wandering around. They got themselves any siege equipment? They do indeed. They actually had a ballista. Um... Child to resolve would work, but it wouldn't work in actual battle, yes. I guess, on this size horse. We'll swing our general in over here. We are ready to clear them off in good time. Now, as for the Vandals, two stacks and this small force of odd lads who plodded off into the distance. Now, we can certainly take out this army over here with our good old faction leader, Gilma the Conqueror, as he is known these days. Um... Yeah, he is he's getting on a bit. We need to pass on those retinue. But I think we want to take on the Vandal Horde first. General. We're on the bridge over here to try and hold this position as well. Conlintum has been supplying us with plenty of troops. Yes. This army, you've done your job. Ooh. Head back to the city Ooh. where you can Ooh. heal up. Ooh. And this lad is going to lay down a watchtower, which is quite long overdue, Ooh. to say the least. Well done, Aquincum. You've scared them off. If they do come for you, though, I mean, I was really looking forward to a big defensive siege. So I wouldn't mind if these two armies want to go and attack this and uh, leave these two armies alone. But set so at this point, we've got one, two, three full stacks. The fourth one has been yes. depleted beyond um, beyond basically most repair. But on the on the plus side, it is certainly looking um, like we're going to start tying up this area. The vandals look like they'll be crushed in a turn in a few more turns, and we can swing into Sarmatians and into Eastern Roman Empire, which is really what we are looking to do, isn't it? So, um, we can obviously get a few more troops out here. I do have the eight experienced horse archers, which is certainly a bit of fun, but um, I think for now we're going to have to head into Mediolanum. Now, of course, uh, finances are terrible, as ever. Um, to get a tiny bit of money, we're not completely bankrupt, but we are pretty, pretty horrendous, all things considered. And... Yes, I think part of the issue at the moment is that um, we need to just keep sacking towns because I've just been building armies of all the money I've got, so obviously no economy is actually going to be built up at all. Oh, that's good. You managed to get in there. Nothing really going on. A bit more increase in your ability. Sadly, this part of France is completely invisible to us. There's really anything there anyway. We'll send this spy to come and have a little look-see. Still can't see very much of it, but we'll go have a little look if you can find out any more. Now, Eastern Empire doesn't know they're sending troops, and they don't tend to do that. Um, the Eastern Empire also is keeping this army floating around here. Oh yes, I have this army too. You swing over here. Thank you very much, Frasamund. Uh, and you can go guard that bridge. So we are now starting to block up all of these passes, so... Yeah, one, two, three, four full stacks, and a fifth over here. We have, uh, well, a kind of stack developing at this part of the world. Um, certainly, yeah, we're getting some troops out over here in Ravenna and Rome. And in good time, I'm about to s s set them along the south coast here, because this army, where is this army? Oh, yes. We were developing another army up here in the summer believer. That wasn't very far, was it? Quite terrible. Um, yeah, pretty much a full stack over here. Not sure if we're short on cav or anything. No, actually, we've got a good amount of cav. We'll get some more infantry in the town to guard it or something. I don't know. Yes. But it's certainly looking pretty good. So, these towns, well, I can't really do much with the troops because I've run out of money. Because Frankie would be an ideal place to be training. Um, I'd like to be training there where possible. And maybe we'll pick. You're really old, aren't you? <laughs> Take your barbarian turncoat, hand it over. Thank you very much. Um, you can spend your last few days in Vickers Frankie. You did nothing of any good there whatsoever. But we will send those troops into the town to make it a bit happier. And we, in time, 
and send them down in this direction. So things are going pretty well in this part of the world as long as the Romans don't get their boat that full stack across. I don't really have a navy. I'm not even going to attempt to block it. I'll just take my chances. Um, and my fleet over here did, of course, get pushed away. I can't get back to port. Let's just swing up the coast and see if we can find anything or any way of getting ourselves safe. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like we're just going to swing to those Romans at Mediolanum then. Clear off of this siege and then we can start to get this army in the south together as well. So they are... Um, they've got no leader. They've got no leader. They have some hippos or their version of the hippos. Um, lovely. But uh, they'll be soon be dead. So, charging to them. They weirdly do want to do this. I'm not quite sure why, but we've got some pretty good troops here. Let's head into battle and let's take them out. Straight into their archers nice and early just to deal with them. They're irritating me. So, send, send the curve classically on that flank. Oh, the javelins are flying in. That's starting to do a lot of damage. Let's pull out. Let's them hit their own men with those. They are routing. That's actually two units routing particularly ideal but that's okay we'll just send actually lads you probably should all start running away quite uh, quite quickly actually uh, the general is charging you down so we'll just start running over here um, seems like we pulled them around a little bit let's go deal with those archers seem to be chasing down our uh, fleeing cav quite foolishly I would suggest but uh, it works for me so those peasants getting themselves killed as well Looks like an all right enough start to the battle. Come on. Get yourselves killed, peasants. Yeah. Death comes to those who are peasants. As we full well know. Um, I say that. We look like we're losing. So we're going to swing back into these guys once more. The poor sausages, you're back in that battle. Lovely. Just all come and join us. We should probably get away from the javelins. We're not doing a very good job of this so far, are we? No, we are not. So, with these peasants about to go down this time. We'll let the command centers waste their javelins. They've missed, I think. We'll just keep on picking at them. As long as we dealt with the archers, we can start to uh, irritate them with the archers, with, the, with our horse archers a bit more. Right now, though, we are just um, eating their javelins with good units, which isn't really what we want to be doing. Okay, we are really confused in their formation here. They just seem to be charging at us, which is not their normal tactic. It seems to actually be working better to them than normal tactic, so can't complain, actually. Tell you what, we'll, we'll pull out a little bit. We'll pull back. We'll swing into that kind of a position. Let's see if they want to come towards our line, because I think uh, we'll be doing all right. We've got some extra infantry coming to help anyway. This is a really stupid charge of the archers, but we're just going to do it anyway. Why not? Why not? And they've instantly routed. <laughs> Not really surprised. But uh, that just seemed like a fun thing to do. The rest of the lines sort of putting themselves into a new position. We'll, uh, we'll let these guys go into skirmish. We'll be, you should probably just run back at this point, lads. Um, these are already on skirmish. We'll let them do what they want a tiny bit. But in general, it's probably a good idea to just grab this force here and start moving them up where they can do a bit more useful work. Into the peasants one more time. That is marvellous. They have been destroyed. So, you pull yourselves back. Looks like they have got themselves in a formation once more. We just need to keep on slowly plodding towards the enemy. Well, we have a rather silly skirmish at the start. Actually, I've lost 8% to their 21, so we really shouldn't be too much too worried, to be fair. We've actually used up a fair few of their um, javelins. Their archers are charging down my cav. Interesting. Uh, but yes, they are getting into battle. Oh, the heavy spearmen turned up just in the nick of time. That's marvellous. So, um, get a charge in. Get a charge in. Get a charge in. And get a charge in. He says, just engage in battle. Might as well just swing into the back of them since you're here. Why not? Seems to uh, have done something, I guess. Yeah, they melted. On to the next ones, lads. We'll do the proper room to a war tactic. These horse archers have been absolutely wasted here today. But you know what? We've been winning these battles too easily against these chaps. Let's, uh, let's have a bit more of an interesting one where we lose a load of men unnecessarily. That's what we need. Um, honestly, honestly, they're not doing a great job, are they? But we're winning. 
we are winning. You know what? Go and chase them down, Cav, because it looks like we've done the job by and large, doesn't it? It looks like we've done the job. Apparently, there's some committed tenses here. We need all infantry just to converge on them. That'd be marvellous. Oh, there are still some lads over here. Maybe go deal with them too. Horses swing into those lads, and I think we're just about to clear them off now. There we go. Last few men getting caught at the line here. These will be the archers going. One unit of Plumby lads got away. About 13, 16. Okay. Just a few of them there. On the whole, we have cleared them out. Very inefficient battle there. 30% lost. It feels like a lot more. Probably wasn't as bad as I thought it was. But yeah, we did lose quite a lot of cavalry there. Um, you would have known. Charge at the horse archers who were annoying you. Actually, kind of half works. We can probably just charge on this last guy, but maybe the mercenary ballista can go. This is a he gets away. How nice for him. Well, we did the job anyway. Um, it's not like we don't have any money to retrain the army. Um, oh, we don't. Hey, well, all is fine. So, we will grab our forces. And we'll send them over to Mediolanum. Who, on the whole, may or may not be able to retrain all these troops. You know what then, sir? You can step out and you can start to collect whatever troops you do have. Just those three infantries. These four infantries. So that looks like a... Night. I hate this game sometimes. Uh, uh, three archers. Fine, 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 fine. And otherwise we have all of our cav to merge. Who are all annoying numbers. But we can merge a couple of you. Okay. So we've got some horse archers there. You go into there before you go into there, because clearly the game is not competent enough to figure that out for itself. Lovely. So, um, retrain the 18. They are more useful. Go stand on the bridge, and the infantry will catch you up next time. Just get that collect our forces over there. That will be grand. Okay, so um, a lot of the map now in beautiful swathes of grey and blue. Just a reminder of our actual uh, victory condition, which is only only 14 settlements, by the way. We've actually got 27. Um, but we need Constantinople. So um, we are we're getting there. We get in there. I suppose if you really wanted to do this efficiently, you would just send your horde straight there, really, and work from there. Probably a much better idea. Maybe that's what you should do, ladies and gents. Oh, and the Vandals are going to attack us on the bridge. This is good. We can slowly, slowly chunk them down. This is a very inexperienced army from me, though. Although they have no experience either. But, um, yeah, this is very much a ragtag force of whatever troops I could gather in my northern territories. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and a bit horse archers. I have five or six, yeah. I actually have a few horse archers as well. I, sh I do have a big advantage in terms of the missiles. That is ideal. Um, they haven't got many. They've only got two units of the good swordsmen. So we're in a fairly good position here. We should be able to hold them off without too many problems. We'll see if they want to send this this army into us as well. But I think the Vandals are going to be going down here. We've got just one fan member here. So I guess there's the faction and the faction leader hanging around in this area. Let's head in and let's try and get one more of them gone. Learning a little bit from last time then, I have got well, a little bit of bait at the front with the spearmen who are just going to stand right at the front, blocks anyone crossing the water, but also they're in loose, they should hopefully take a few of the hits. Our archers meanwhile will all just get a load of shots in ASAP, we'll keep the infantry back for the moment apart from their equivalent fodder over on this side, they're just going to stand there, dip your toes in the river lads, just have a lovely, lovely day out, it's fine, we'll try and shoot the guys shooting you. You're not at all the bait. It is all good. So, of course, we should be in a much better position than we were last time with these. These guys have really good range. We can get... Yeah, we can reach these ones already. So we'll be shooting them down long before they're shooting us. That's the advantage of having the proper archers. Much better than horse archers in this particular occasion. Um, our horse archers, though, might just need to hang back and wait until they're close enough. Or, indeed, the infantry start turning up. So we're just going to speed this up. Once they start coming to cross, we will... Yeah, they're just going to start charging very soon, aren't they? Just need to be careful then to get my infantry close very, very soon. Lots of arrows coming in. Um, they are shooting us down just a little bit, but on the whole, we're doing a very good job here. Can't actually quite reach them, apparently. They can, though. So that is good. Um, quite a big column here, but most of the horses are already gone, which means we should be in a pretty good position. 
I'm actually going to start sending my infantry forward anyway, because I think we're in a fairly safe position now. So you get yourselves here. You get yourselves into here. And then we'll get our step swordsmen into these positions, just as kind of general backups. And we'll get a Shiltrum into the middle. So just get yourselves into there, that'll be perfect, right? Looks like they're about to get themselves in. I think, archers, if you start thinking about fire, that would be ideal. I'm going to try and cross. They're just going to stand around, I'm not sure. We can do some good damage while we're standing around. Yeah, we are being attacked, aren't we? But uh, too bad. Looks like, looks like the horse arcs can just take care of these last few horses of theirs. Once they're gone, they'll probably try and reform or maybe charge over. Um, this might start to be a little bit like the Eastern Empire battle yesterday. What are they going to do now he's getting shot? God only knows. Looks solid enough at our side of the bridge over here. Plenty of arrows still coming in from our archers. They are just about running out though, so we'll just tell these guys to hold back at this point. Um, you two... Yeah, probably about time for you to stop as well, actually. So, off shooting and please stop. You might as well finish off what you've got. Just getting all our horse archers onto one side. They're um, they're going to think about crossing very, very soon. See what they do, but if not, we'll try something like we did against the Eastern Romans last time out. We are very much fed up of weight at this point, so we're just going to start shooting arrows into their general. The last few arrows from over here are coming in, but... Um, yeah, we just got the horse archers ready. Let's kill the general, that's the main thing. <laughs> Absolute slaughter. Come on, Steve, you need to die. Today is your day. Arrows coming in. Come on. He's impervious to arrows, unlike his friends. Where are they going? Away? Not away, sir. No, 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 no. That's not what you do, but annoyingly, he's on them. Um, he's got himself on the safe side of his units. Let's go grab our cavalry then, charge them across. And the rest of my cav. Ooh, we need to find a way to hit this general, don't we? So... Okay, three of you smash into the step horde spearmen. The rest of you can keep running over that way. We need to see if we can just catch this general here. Yeah, we just, hopefully they're still getting some shots in, but they seem to have stopped at the moment, which is irritating. Right, these guys are all going to swing into that unit. Right, that's fine. Start swinging out here. You don't even need to hit it. Just, yeah, that's one route. That's good. It's not entirely what we're actually looking to achieve here. So keep swinging over there. You sirs. Yep, keep on swinging. Get those shots in. Horse archers are galloping along. They are quicker than him. We just need to go and get ahead of him. Just pick him off at the end here. Right, you sir. Come on, you need to catch him. All of you, get your shots in. Come on! Damn and blast! He's got away. He got away. Oh well, well, let's just shoot these guys as much as possible. And just charge them a little bit. Hopefully cause a rout or two. Um... No route here, not immediately anyway. Alright, we've got one there, that's good. We can pretty much melt all of this infantry. <laughs> they are just terrible. They truly are runaway slave spearmen, aren't they? Uh, that's all of them melting. It's just a bit annoying. Oh, that, that unit has got away. Um, it's just a bit annoying, really, that the general can quite be chopped down there. Let's get this proper unit. I don't know what happened to the generals, and they've decided to cross the bridge, apparently, but that's not the end of the world. Come on! Choppy, choppy! You know the drill. Oh, they're actually not routing. Put out! Um, that's fine. There's the victory. Yeah, slay them all. Right, well, we've done a pretty good job here. It's just unfortunate that the general got away. 61%. Be a few more being mopped up here. Um, a bit too scary for all of my cav, even though they have terrible units. Um, just the sheer numbers is a little bit terrifying. So, sadly, sadly, uh, no finishing for that general, but 
on the whole, we've done a good job. And uh, yeah, see you back on campaign map. Very clear victory for us then. Another army down, if I can ever click the continue button. And... Okay. They are... Oh, they're just going to attack us again on the same bridge. That's, uh, that's ballsy, I would say. But a uh, Hunneric faction leader here. Well, we can take him down. And then they're looking very weak indeed. There's these two lads left, I imagine. So three altogether. Right, well, we barely took a knock there apart from the horse archers. So I would say we're in a good position. So we're going to do that again. One, two, three, four, five. I'm choking on myself. Pretty much the same army, actually, isn't it? So five horse archers. We've got five units of our own archers anyway. So we'll be doing absolutely fine. Let's go. Very much in the same position as last time. It does seem like they have most of the horses over here, though. Only a couple on that side. Just as well, that's where we've got most of our archers. So on this red bank, they can have a nice time. You guys can just have a nice chill-out session on the red bank once again. I'm sure you'll be safe. You were safe last time. I'm sure you'll be fine. And yeah, we'll just hold back infantry to avoid them getting shot. Um, yeah, a bit like last time. We're just looking really to kill the general off here. So... Um, We'll have to see if we can do that. It'd be annoying if we don't, but this should be their last full stack gone very, very soon. So, we're certainly looking in a fairly strong position. Actually, on the whole, the whole it looks like we've actually got their cavalry shot down. So let's just get all of our horse archers shooting them, apart from these lads, so you can just stay there. It's fun to shoot whoever you can. The yep, the cavalry go down. That means their missiles are gone, which means that we can just well leave ourselves in the same position as last time. Uh, as long as the general, well, to be fair, if we can take out the army, that'll be the main thing. We can always take out the generals in a little sneak attack next time with our good old faction leader Gelma. Looks like they're coming for us, so let's start running, lads, right to the front now. If we can grab our horse archers. And send them on a little uh, little trip across the river. That will be ideal. So you go and do that, please. These guys are very much going to do the same over to this side. He's going to do that. Our uh, shelter is going to be a little bit late, but we've got all our other units there already. They're already routed. That was really good of them, wasn't it? Very clever. Um, should I use fire? Let's use fire. Fire is always helpful in these particular sorts of battles. But uh, it looks like they're already going to go down, so it isn't the most necessary thing in the world. Get horse archers trying to cross now before we get the mass route. Hopefully that way we can actually catch the general this time. Flaming arrow is coming in, albeit, to be honest lads, I was, can I just suggest you to add to the general and all the way back here? That'll keep us nice and safe by shooting the pack, not shooting ourselves. Yeah, got a bit of a, a, bit of a jam here between them trying to flee back across the bridge. And their general stabbing them in the throat to tell them to go back and die like they should do. But that works for us. So the horse archers are getting their way across. That works for me. These ones aren't too far away. Ooh. Flaming arrows doing their work now. Really doing their work. There's only a couple units left. The warlord's going to get himself trapped actually, isn't he? Looks like he might because he's going to get stuck behind his own fleeing friends. Yeah, the general's just going to get himself thrown in here. Is he actually right in this pack? Okay. You, sir, swing him. Um, and archers just shoot into there. Come on, please hurry up. Are you getting tired? Oh, God, they're just going to drown, aren't they? Ridiculous, lads. Come on. Get up there. And... Some of the some infantry are getting in there now. Some of them are getting in there, but I would just like my generals to start swinging in as well. Just let me start getting them surrounded. That's the main thing here. Actually, I say that. Do you have any horses back here in case he flees through us? It doesn't look like they're fleeing this way. But let's make sure that is the case. Now, if these cav can just start charging them. Yes, well, exactly. That's what he's doing now. He's just fleeing. Oh, what are you doing? I need you to shoot our their king. Coward, and he is just the greatest of them all. Ah, he is the greatest coward of them all. Go for them. Catch him. Catch him, Spearman. You're right there. Poke him. Don't really care what the guys over here are doing. They're doing something. Half of them are just in the river still. Who knows? Who knows? What are we doing over here? Please, please go and mop up the units. That would be ideal. As for the general... 
Right, missiles. Archers. Any of you that can, please shoot him. You're supposed to be shooting him. Oh, they've all got themselves stuck in the river. General, what are you doing? Oh, we're going to fail again. Most of them getting ridden down. This yeah, no victory is there for us. Is just getting ridden down no, by us at this point. A few of them getting chase. shot down, to be fair. Um, it is just a coward chase, albeit I think it's... Um, are you a coward if you have fear for a good reason? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's a question for the comment section, really. A nice bit of philosophy of cowardry. But um, certainly, these guys are shooting at the back of their horse, and I think they're going to do their job. Clean out another army. Another general just wanted to get away, but I suppose in bridge battles can be tricky. A bit annoying, though, because we should have been able to catch him, but the infantry didn't want to move. The archers were too busy going for a swim to actually bother shooting him, and then my general just, I don't know, just got confused. A bit irritating seeing as I did actually call that he might run and escape that way. Um, but no worries, no worries. We've done the job. That is 97% dead, so they're all going to be destroyed apart from the general, I, suppo I suppose. Uh, another great victory. Tied that up. And we could start start to think about mopping them up. So they're not going to attack us again by the looks of it. Um, we just need to make sure we kill them all now. Oh, we, we're not allowed to get this boat home, are we? Thank you, rebels. Get him! No! All of his great, great retinue are gone. Oh, I just wanted to do that one battle. <laughs> oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. Gellum will be known as the man who orchestrated the defeat of the Vandals, even if he died slightly too early to finish them off. So we'll swing into him. Perfect. So this guy can go down. That's going to be simple enough, I think. What about this chap over here? Family member, family member. Where's the, where's the faction leader then? Where are they? I don't know what's going on anymore. Um... Um, are they hiding somewhere? Ah, there's another guy over here. The other faction leader. Okay, they haven't actually nominated a faction there, which is intriguing. But if it's just you two, I wouldn't mind swinging into you like that. Uh, Busalari, not particularly useful. Okay, that's the faction leader then. We just chased him down. For some he's found another 20 men. We can deal with him momentarily as well. So... We're pretty much there now. A few archer cav to take down with these troops. And, yeah, just a few bits and pieces here or there. Well, we're going to finish them off today, I think, ladies and gentlemen. It's been, very, been incredibly battle-heavy. We've barely done any work on the actual campaign map here. Um, not a lot other than just murdering the vandals brutally, is it? So, we will take these guys out of the army in order to just reorganise. There we go. Four archers, or three archers in fact. It's a bit on the low side, but it's not too bad, I guess. And we'll send these as well. A bit short, to be honest, if anything. We'll go down the bridge and we'll go and get Ravenna with some new troops. And we'll do the same round because it just looks like you're a bit short, so we'll get some heavy spearmen. Um, Vindalacorum, you send your lads down to Medellanum, Medellanum. Just spend your money retraining. That's all the money again. Okay, whatever, 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 whatever. You know what? You don't need it. In fact, no, you're angry. You do need it. It's on. It's a normal tax rate. We can we can sort that out. Okay, you don't need it. We'll retrain over Medellin instead. That'd be much better. Get that up to sixty-two. And otherwise, yeah, everything's just kind of as it was in this part of the world. We do need to make sure we sort out this unit on our way through. Let's start off with the Hunnic faction leader then. Um, his experience actually kind of worries me a little bit. Uh, we'll shoot them down as much as possible. I think we'll be okay. Let's go. Well, it seems like their warlord wants to just charge straight in at us. It's a bit irritating. Rather shoot him down a few arrows. We'll use some arrows where possible. Just run up the hill, please, sir. Hopefully we'll get a few shots in the back. And as we do that, we'll turn and get a charge in on him. I don't think this is going to go very well, you know. I'm not very convinced about this battle. Um, eager. Keep on shooting. Just keep shooting on in. We're actually, we are actually winning against the general here. Keep chasing him down. Is he going to run away? You're not allowed to run away. 
Switch the dice there. There we go. Archers can at least shoot these chaps in the back. Try and run through them, please. And he's gone. That's the Hunnic faction leader gone. Perfect. Right, that's one out of three down. It is just a hunt. Alright, lad. Well, that's one out of three. Now time to get on to the other two. On to the second battle, and we have ourselves a magnificent mounted priests. Oh yes, they're going to club everyone over the head with their crosses, and that will be the end of these chaps. This is the second army then. That should have been Gelimers, of course. And um, to be honest, I think we're just going to have to plod over to them, because I don't think they want to do this battle today. So, uh, I do think this will be most likely the main army to go and take on the Byzantines. I would very much like to take out the Eastern Empire with a good army such as this. We're looking pretty strong, aren't we? I missed a couple of units, so we just actually keep it short here. I think we are. Right, well, we'll get a little bit closer and we'll head into the battle. Well, they do look like they're a little bit depleted in this battle, don't they? Uh, we'll just send the uh, Archcav straight out to the flank as ever. These uh, these units will not last very long. Let's get the priests forward. Let's go and inspire our men with our priests. Whether you're pagan or not, you're going to have to. Yes, come on, chant saps. Forwards. No weird harm like the druids, but oh well, we'll have to take it, I suppose. What are they doing? They're running back up to the hill. We're just going to get head on into this battle now, uh, because why not? Can't be able to wait around. Our general's got quite a lot of experience, so I don't think um, we'll have an issue with this. Our general can start to swing in. Archers really just start running away and stop ruining everything. We're just going to shoot our men. And this should be their second last chap down. There he goes. Just one more Hunnic leader to go. The last of the armies is the most irritating of them. A huge pack of horse archers, about six units of horse archers. I don't have enough horse archers left in my army to kind of wander around and attack them, but I do have plenty of my own archers to stand at the front and shoot at them. So that is indeed what we're doing. Our infantry and fairness should probably go a little bit looser and a little bit further behind. So just go and rearrange yourself, chappies. And yeah, we'll just um, just try and shoot them down as much as possible. It might be a little bit on the uh, the bloody side for us, but we should be okay. Just keep picking them off one by one before we get to the general. Well, if they want to come and charge us, we will send our missiles to stay where they are. Infantry will charge in. General will hit their general, and it will be the end of the Huns. Marvellous. If all the missiles can just focus their shooting on them, that would be perfect. Worthless dog. He should kill him. Yeah, all missiles open up on the general and shoot him down. We just need him gone. Infantry to start charging in all sorts of directions. Whatever, really. It will all do the work. Uh, horse archers, if you like to come and help, that would be really, really good right now. The whole plan is to take out the king. You know, it's their third king in, in the day, but it's a king nonetheless. I must get rid of him. Here we go. This is going to be the end of the faction. That is the end of the Horde. One of our um, toughest enemies. Wiped out in one episode, pretty much. So, I'm pretty pleased with that. We'll just, you know what, lads? We'll let the last few of them get away. They are only to tell the tales of their great ancestors. That's it, man. Flee. Flee. Actually, yeah, get a last shot in, lads. And kill one of them. There we are. Steve didn't make it. Bye, Steve. Victory is the reward of war. There we go. With that, that should be the faction destroyed, unless I've missed something. Come on, give me the good news. Faction destroyed. The vandals are gone. Whew. Okay, they um. They could have torn us to shreds, but we just managed to pull everything together. Super aggressive move at the, uh, at the uh, road, basically, uh, funded that. But with that, they are gone. And with that, we are left with quite a few big stacks, actually. Four full stacks. There's a fifth one over here. And we've got a Sith army kind of building up in this area with a seventh up to the north. So with our seven 
great armies we can descend upon what's left so the next few episodes probably the last um if it goes well anyway because we need to swing down focus most of our energy on greece the balkans of course tom stantinople you can join me for that very very soon but for now i will leave you i'm thomas this is to notice the human and this has been our slamic campaign thank you and goodbye Death and violence will come to you. This is a beautiful, beautiful town, by the way, guys. Let's go and smash it up. Dum tum ti 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 ti. How did you die? What is happening to my men? Steve! He was the one man who tried!